What is going on my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Quinnybags and welcome back to Minecraft. So today my dudes, I'm going to be teaching you how to use uh, respawn anchors. Now this is a new feature added in 1.16 and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build it and how to use it and what it is for. Now if you guys know like me, beds do not work and I found out this out the hard way. Beds do not work in the nether. I will show you guys what happens in the nether when you try to sleep in a bed. Now if we take this bed over here and we place it in the nether and we try to go for a little snooze, bam baby it blows up. Oh my god we almost blew up our tutorial area. Okay so everybody kind of knew that. Um, now, so you want to be able to spawn in the nether when you die though. So this is what the respawn anchor is for. So how you're going to actually make this thing first, we're going to show you guys how to make it. You're going to find crying obsidian, crying obsidian. You can find in bastion remnants. Um, you can find it in kind of chests in the nether areas like that. I'm pretty sure. And also in the overworld, you can actually find it at the, uh, pre-built nether portals and also in the nether. Um, when you run into those, sometimes you'll find crying obsidian. So now all you're going to do with this crying obsidian, you're also going to need glowstone. You're going to take crying obsidian. You're going to need at least six pieces of crying obsidian. You're going to put it like that. And you're going to put glowstone in the middle and make a sandwich. And there you go. You got yourself a respawn anchor. Now, how do you use this respawn anchor? You might ask. We're going to go ahead and show you guys. You're going to grab your glowstone and you're going to power up this respawn anchor. All right. So now the respawn anchor is ready to go. It will work, but it doesn't work until you right click on the block and now respawn point is set. So this is basically the same as a bed. As long as this thing's swirling and it says respawn is set. Now we're going to give it a test here. All right. So now we're in survival mode and uh, let's, let's, uh, let's jump off here into this lava pool and see if it works. All right, here we go. All right. We're going to slowly die. All right, hit that respawn button and bam, my dudes. See, now we have three more. As you can see, it took it out like a clock, right? So now you have three more lives with this respawn beacon. So we can jump in three more times. All right, so it's got two more. All right, one more. Okay, so now the respawn beacon is, I mean, the respawn anchor is now fully uncharged. So now when we die, we are going to go back to spawn. All right, my dudes. So if you guys enjoyed this video, it was pretty, pretty simple. That's how respawn anchors work. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. Let's see if we get a 20 like goal going on this video. And if you're new, make sure to smash that sub button and also the bell so you guys don't miss any Minecraft tips, tutorials, or gameplays. All right, peace out, my dudes, and have an amazing day. Thanks for watching.